Good morning, everybody. I don't know if it, the screen looks a little blurry or is it just me? Hold on. <laughs> I never wiped the camera on live before. Okay, guys. Um, we're going to start with... <laughs> the birds in the background. We're going to start with chapter... Oof. Chapter 19, Miriam. Let's go. We're using the book, the Clear Quran book, by the way. The Theomatic English Translation. This is the one that we're using. Alright, chapter 19, Mary, Miriam. This Meccan chapter recounts the miraculous stories of the birth of Jesus by the Virgin Mary after whom the chapter is named, and the birth of John the Baptist to old Zechariah and his elderly barren wife. Other prophets are cited as recipients of God's favor and grace, attributing children to God, verses 88 to 95, and denial of the resurrection, verses 66 to 70, are rejected as outrageous and blasphemous, both the end of this chapter and then the beginning of the next one talk about the purpose of revealing the Quran. <clears throat> In the name of God, the most compassionate, most merciful. I seek refuge with God from Satan the accursed. 1. Zechariah's Prayer. Kaf ha ya ein sad. This is a reminder of your Lord's mercy and to his... This is a reminder of your Lord's mercy to his servant, Zechariah, when he cried out to his Lord privately, saying, My Lord, surely my bones have become brittle, and gray hair has spread across my head, but I have never, dis but I have never been disappointed in my prayer to you, my Lord, and I am concerned about the faith of my relatives after me, since my wife is barren, so grant me your... So grant me by your grace an heir who will inherit prophethood from me and the family of Jacob and make him, O Lord, pleasing to you. Prayer answered, 7. The angels, the angels announced, O Zechariah, indeed, we, have, we give you the good news of the birth of a son whose name will be John, a name we have not given to anyone before. He wondered, my Lord, how can I have a son when my wife is barren and I have become extremely old? An angel replied, So will it be. Your Lord says, It is easy for me, just as I created you before when you were nothing. Zechariah said, My Lord, grant me a sign. He responded, Your sign is that you will not be able to speak to people for three nights despite being healthy. So he came out to his people from the sanctuary, signaling to them to glorify God morning and evening. John's Noble's Qualities John's Noble Qualities 12. It is later said, O John, hold firmly to the scriptures, and we granted his wisdom while he was still a child, as well as purity and compassion from us. And he was God-fearing and kind to his parents. He was neither arrogant nor disobedient, Peace be upon him the day he was born and the day of his death and the day he will be raised back to life. 16. Gabriel visits Mary and mentioned in the book, O Prophet, the story of Mary when she withdrew from her family to a place in the east, screening herself off from them. Then we went to her, our angel Gabriel, appearing before her as a man, perfectly formed, she appealed, she appealed, I truly seek refuge from the most I, su I truly seek refuge in the most compassionate from you so leave me alone if you are god fearing he responded i am only a messenger from your lord sent to bless you with a pure son she wondered how can i have a son when no man has ever touched me nor i nor am i unchaste he replied so will it be your lord said it was it is easy for me, so, and so will we make him a sign for humanity and a mercy upon us. It is a matter already decreed. 
22. Jesus' virgin birth. So she conceived him and withdrew with him to a remote place. Then the pains of our labor drove her to the trunk of a palm tree. She cried, Alas, I wish I had died before this and was a and was a thing long before long forgotten. So a voice reassured her f- from below her, Do not grieve. Your Lord has provided a stream at your feet, and shake the trunk of his palm tree towards you. It will drop fresh ripe dapes upon you. So eat and drink, and put your heart at ease. But if you see any of the people say, I have vowed silence to the most compassionate, so I am not talking to anyone today. Reaction of reaction to baby Jesus, 27. Then she returned to her people carrying him. They said in shock, O oh Mary, you have certainly done a horrible thing. O oh sister of Aaron, your father was not an, an indecent man, nor was your mother unchaste. So she pointed to the baby. They exclaimed, How can we talk to someone who is an infant in the cradle? Baby Jesus talks. 30. Jesus declared, I am truly a servant of God. He has destined me to be given the scripture and to be a prophet. He had made me a blessing wherever I go and bid me to establish prayer and give alms tax as long as I live and to be kind to my mother. He has not made me arrogant or defiant. Peace be upon me the day that I was born. The day, peace be upon me the day that I was born, the day that I die, and the day I will be raised back to life. Christians and the Jews differ on Jesus. 34. That is Jesus, son of Mary, and this is a word of truth about which they dispute. It is not for good to take a son. Glory be to him. When he decrees a matter he simply tells it be and it is jesus also declared surely god is my lord and your lord so worship him alone this is the straight path yet their various groups have differed among themselves about him so woe to the disbelievers when they face a tremendous day how clearly will they hear and see on the day they will come to us but today the wrongdoers are clearly astray Warning to the disbelievers, 39. And warn them, O prophet, of the day of regret, when all matters will be settled, while they are engrossed in heedlessness and disbelief. Indeed, it is we who will succeed the earth and whoever is on it. And to us, they will all be returned. Abraham and his father, Azar, 41. And mention in the book, O prophet, the story of Abraham, He was surely a man of truth and a prophet. Remember when he said to his father, O dear father, why do you worship what can neither hear nor see nor benefit you at all? O dear father, I have certainly received some knowledge which you have not received. So follow me and I will guide you to a straight path. O dear father, do you not not worship Satan? Surely Satan is ever rebellious against the most compassionate. O dear father, I truly fear that you will be touched by a torment from the most compassionate and become Satan's companion in hell. Azar's angry response, 46. He threatened, how dare you reject my idols, O Abraham? If you do not detest, desist, I will certainly stone you to death. So be gone from me for a long time. Abraham responded, Peace be upon you. I will pray to my Lord for your forgiveness. He has truly been the most gracious to me. As I distance myself from all of you and from whatever you invoke besides God, I will continue to call upon my Lord alone, trusting that I will never be disappointed in invoking my Lord. So after he had left them and what they worshipped besides God, we granted him Isaac and Jacob and made each of them a prophet, so showered them with our mercy. We showered them with our mercy and blessed them with honorable mention. Prophet Moses, and mention, and Prophet Moses, 51, and mention the book, O Prophet, the story of Moses. He was truly a chosen man and was a messenger of a prophet. It was a messenger and a prophet. We call him from the right side of the Mount of Mount Tur, 
and drew him near speaking with him directly. And we appointed for him out of our grace, his brother Aaron as a prophet, prophet Ishmael, and mentioned in the book of prophet, the story of Ishmael. He was truly a man of his word and was a messenger and a prophet. He used, he used to urge his people to pray and gives alms tax, and his Lord was well pleased with him. Prophet Enoch 56 and mentioned in the book of prophet the story of Enoch he was surely a man of truth and a prophet and we elevated him to an honorable status noble prophet 58 noble prophets 58 there were some of the prophets who God has blessed from among the descendants of Adam and of those we carried with Noah in the ark and of the descendants of Abraham and is Israel and of those we rightly guided and chose. Whenever the revelations of the most compassionate were rec recited to them, they fell down, prostrating and weeping. 59. Evil successors. But they were su succeeded by generations who neglected prayer and followed their lusts, and so will soon face the evil consequences. As for those who repent, believe, and do good, it is they who will be admitted into paradise, never being denied any reward. They will be in the gardens of eternity, promised in trust by the most compassionate to his servants. Surely his promise will be fulfilled. There are they who will, there, there they will never hear any idle talk, only greetings of peace. And there they will have and there they will have their provisions morning and evening. That is paradise, which we will grant to whoever is devout amongst our servants. Gabriel's response to the prophet, We only descend by the command of your Lord. To him belongs whatever before us and whatever is behind us and everything in between. And your Lord is never forgetful. He is the Lord of the heavens and the earth and everything in between. So worship him alone and be steadfast in your in his worship. Do you know of the of anyone equal to him in his attributes? The deniers of resurrection, 66. Yet some people ask mockingly, after I die, will I really be raised to life again? Do such people not remember what we created that we created them before what they were nothing when they were nothing? By your Lord or prophet, we will surely gather them along with the devils and then set them around hell on their knees. Then we will certainly be begin by dragging out every group of the ones most defiant to the most compassionate. And we truly know best who is most deserve, deserving of burning in it. There is none of you who will not pass over it. This is a decree your Lord must fulfill. Then we will deliver those who were devout, leaving the wrongdoers there on their knees. Arrogant disbelievers. 73. When our clear revelations are recited to them, the disbelievers ask the believers mockingly, which of the two of us is better in status and superior in assembly? Imagine, O prophet, how many peoples we have destroyed before them who are far better in luxury and splendor say o prophet whoever is entrenched in misguidance the most compassionate will allow plenty of the most compassionate will allow plenty of time until behold they face what they are threatened with either the torment or the hour only then they will realize who is worse in position and inferior in manpower. Reward of the devout, 76. And God increases in guidance those who are rightly guided, and the everlasting good deeds are far better with your Lord in reward and in outcome. A denier of resurrection, 77. Have you seen, O prophet, the one who rejects our revelation yet boasts, I will definitely be granted plenty of wealth and children if there is an afterlife. If there is an afterlife, has he looked into the unseen or taken a pledge from the most compassionate? Not at all. We certainly record whatever he claims 
and will increase his punishment extensively extensively and will inherit what he boasts of and he will come before us all by himself eighty one believers and disbelievers on judgment day they have taken our gods instead of God seeking strength and protection through them but no those gods will deny their worship and turn against them do you O prophet not see that we have sent the devils against the disbelievers constantly inciting them so do not be haste among them for indeed we are closely counting down their days watch for the day we will gather the righteous before the most compassionate as an honorable delegation and drive the wicked to hell like a thirsty herd None will have the right to intercede except those who have taken the covenant from the most compassionate. Let me say. 88. God's children. <laughs> they say the most compassionate has offspring. You have certainly made an outrageous claim by which the heavens are about to burst and the earth to split apart and the mountains to crumble to pieces in protest of attributing children to the most compassionate. It does, it, does not benefit, it does not befit the majesty of the most compassionate to have children. There is none in the heavens or the earth who will not return to the most compassionate in full submission. Indeed, he fully knows them and has counted them precisely and each of them will return to him on the day of judgment all alone. Believers love for one another. 96. As for those who believe and do good, the most compassionate will certainly bless them with genuine love. Hmm. The message of the Quran, 97. Indeed, we have made this Quran easy in your own language, O Prophet. So with it, you may give good news to the righteous and warn those who are contentious. Imagine how many peoples we have destroyed before them. Do you still see any of them or even hear from them or even hear from them a slightest sound? Chapter 20. Da ha. Since Moses and Adam are mentioned passingly in the previous chapter, their stories are recounted here in great detail. This Meccan chapter reassures the prophet that the truth always prevails, even against the most ty tyrannical opposition in the form of Pharaoh, and that God is able to open even the hardest of hearts in the form of Pharaoh's magicians. Both the beginning and the end of the chapter emphasize the divine nature of the Quran as a source of guidance and eternal bliss, those who turn away from the Quranic reminder are warned of misery in this world and horrifying punishment on the day of judgment. The prophet is advised to seek comfort and patience and prayer against the pagan denial, which is detailed at the beginning of the next chapter. In the name of God, the most compassionate, most merciful, Ta Ha, Almighty's God's, Almighty God's revelations. Taha. One, Taha, we have not revealed the Quran to you, O Prophet, to cause you to distress, but as a reminder to those in awe of God, it is a revelation from the one who created the earth and the high heavens, the most compassionate, who is established on the throne. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth and whatever is in between and whatever is underground. Whether you speak openly or not, he certainly knows what is secret and what is even more hidden. God, there, God, there is no God worthy of worship except him. He has the most beautiful names. Moses, Moses' great encounter. Nine. Has the story of Moses reached you, O prophet? When he saw a fire, he said to his family, Wait here, for I have spotted a fire. Perhaps I could bring you a torch from it, or find some guidance at the fire. But when he approached it, he was called, O oh Moses, it is truly I. 
I am your Lord. So take off your sandals, for you are in the sacred valley of Tuwa. I have chosen you, so listen to what is revealed. It is truly I. I am God. There is no God worthy of worship except me. So worship me alone and establish prayer for my remembrance. The hour is sure to come. My will is to keep it hidden so that every soul may be rewarded according to their efforts. So do not let those disbelieve in it and follow their desires distract you from it. So do not let those who disbelieve in it and follow their desires distract you from it or you will be doomed. 17. Two signs for Moses. God added, And what is that in your right hand, O Moses? He replied, It is my staff. I lean on it when with it I beat down branches for my sheep and have other uses for it. God said, Throw it down, O Moses. So he did. Then behold, it became it became a serpent slithering, God said, take it and have no fear. We will return it to its former state and put your hand under your armpit. It will come out shining white, unblemished as another sign so that we may show you some of our greatest signs. Go to Pharaoh, for he has truly transgressed all bounds. Moses prayed, my Lord, uplift my heart for me and make my task easy and remove the impediment from my tongue so people may understand my speech and grant me a helper from my family. Aaron, my brother, strengthen me through him and let him share my task so that we may glorify you much and remember you much. For you, truly you have always been overseeing us. God responded, all that you requested has been granted, O Moses. God favors to young Moses, 37. And surely we have shown you favor before. When we inspired your mother with this, put him into a chest, then put, him in, put it into the river. The river will wash it ashore, and he will be taken by Pharaoh, an enemy of mine and his. And I am blessed with you with love ability, love ability from me. O oh, Moses, so that you would be brought up under my watchful eye. Remember when your, when your sister came along and proposed, shall I direct you to somebody who will nurse him? So we reunited you with your mother so that, your, so that her heart would be put at ease and she would not grieve. Later, you killed a man by mistake, but we saved you from sorrow as well as other tests we put you through. Then you stayed for a number of years among the people of Midi, Midi, Midian. Then you came here as predestined, O Moses, and I have selected you for my service. 42. Orders to Moses and Aaron. Go forth, you and your brother, with my signs, and never falter in remembering me. Go both of you to Pharaoh, for he has truly transgressed all bounds. Speak to him gently, so perhaps he may be mindful of me or fearful of my punishment. They both pleaded, Our Lord, we fear that he may be quick to harm us or act ty tyrannic tyrannically. T-Y-R-A-N-N-I-C-A-L-L-Y. God reassured them, Have no fear, I am with you, hearing and seeing. So go to him and say, Indeed, we are both messengers from your Lord. So let the children of Israel go with us and do not oppress them. We have come to you with a sign from your Lord and salvation will be, will be forever, will be for whoever follows the right guidance. It is indeed, it will, it has indeed been revealed to us that the punishment will be upon whoever denies the truth and turns away. Pharaoh's arrogance. 49. Pharaoh asked, Who then is the Lord of you too, O Moses? He answered, Our Lord is the one who has given everything in distinctive form, then guided it. Pharaoh asked, And what about previous people? He replied, That knowledge is with my Lord in a record. My Lord neither falters nor forgets anything. He is the one who has laid out the earth for all of you. 
and set it in pathways, pathways for you and sends down rain from the sky, causing various types of plants to grow. So eat and graze your cattle. Surely, and surely, these, surely this are signs for people of sound judgment. From the earth we created you, and into it we will return you, and from it we will bring you back again. The Challenge 56 And we certainly showed Pharaoh all of our signs, but he denied them and refused to believe. He said, Have you come to drive us out of our land with your magic, O oh, Moses? We can surely meet you with a similar mat with similar magic. So set for us an appointment that neither of us will fail to keep in central in a central place. Moses said, "Your appointment is on the day of the festival, and let the people be gathered mid morning." Moses, Moses's warning. Sixty. Pharaoh then withdrew, orchestrated his scheme, then returned. Moses warned the magicians, "Woe to you!" Do not fabricate a lie against God, or he will wipe you out with torment. Whoever fabricates lies and bound to fail. So the magician disputed the matter amongst themselves, conversing privately. They, conclu they, clung they concluded, these two are only magicians who want to drive you out of your land with their magic and do away with most of the cherished traditions. So orchestrate your plan. Then come forward in perfect ranks, and whoever prevails today will certainly be successful. 65. Moses prevails. They said, O oh Moses, either you cast or let us be the first to cast. Moses responded, No, you go first. And suddenly their ropes and staff appeared to them by their magic to be slithering. So Moses concealed fear within himself. We reassured him, do not fear. It is certainly you who will prevail. Cast what is in your right hand, and it will swallow up what they have made. For what they have made is no more than a magic trick, and, a, and magicians can never succeed wherever they go. 70. Magicians become believers. So the magicians fell down and prostrating, declaring, We believe in the Lord of Aaron and Moses. Pharaoh tree threatened how dare you believe in him before i gave you permission he must be your master who taught you magic i will certainly cut off your hands and feet on opposite sides and crucify you on the trunks of palm trees you will you will really see those you will really see whose punishment is more severe and more lasting they responded by the one who created us we will never perform you over the clear proofs that had came to us so do whatever you want your authority only comes the only covers the fleeting life of this world indeed we have believed in our lord so he may forgive our sins and that magic you have forced us to practice and god is far superior in reward and more lasting in punishment 74 reward of disbelievers and believers whoever comes to the lord as an evil doer will certainly have hell where they can neither live nor die. But whoever comes to him as a believer, having done good, they will have the highest ranks, the gardens of eternity under which rivers flow, where they will stay forever. That is the reward of those who purify themselves. 77. Pharaoh's doom. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I got runny nose. 77 and we surely inspired moses saying leave with my servants at night and strike the dry passage for them across the sea have no fear of being overtaken nor be concerned of drowning then pharaoh pursued them with the soldiers but how overwhelming were the waters that submerged them and so the pharaoh led his people astray and did not guide them rightly 80 god's favors to the israelites O children of Israel, we saved you from your enemy and made an appointment with you on the night on the right side of Mount Tor and sent down to you manna and quails, saying, Eat from the good things we have provided for you, but do not transgress in them, or my wrath will befall you. And whoever my wrath befalls is certainly doomed. But I am truly most forgiving to whoever repents, believe, and does good. 
then persist on true guidance. Salam, salam. 83. The Golden Calf. God asked, Why have you come with such haste instead of ahead of your people? O oh, Moses. He replied, They are close on my tracks, and I have hastened to you, my Lord, so you will be pleased. God responded, oh, Sorry. We have indeed tested your people in your absence, and the Samiri Sam si has led them astray. So Moses returned to his people furious and sorrowful. He said, O oh, my people, had your Lord not made you a good promise? Has my absence been too long for you? Or have you wished your wrath from your Lord to befall you, so you broke your promise to me? 87. The Calf Worshippers They argue, We did not break our promise to you of our own free will, but we were made to carry the burden of the people's golden jewelry. Then we threw it into the fire, and so did the Samiri. Then they molded for them an idol of a calf that made a low, a lowing sound. They said, this is your God and the God of Moses. But Moses forgot where it was. Did they not see that it did not respond to them, nor could it protect or benefit them? Being tested by this, for indeed your one true Lord is the most compassionate. So follow me and obey my orders. They replied, we will not cease to worship it until Moses returns to us. Moses scolded his brother, O oh Aaron, what prevented you when you saw them going astray from following after me? How could you disobey my orders? Aaron pleaded, O oh son of my mother, do not seize me by my beard or my or the hair of my head. I truly, I really feared that you would say you have caused division among the children of Israel and did not observe my word, the Samurai's punishment, the Simiri's punishment. 95. Moses then asked, What did you think you were doing, O Samiri? He said, I saw what they did not see, so I took a handful of dust from the hoof prints of the horse of the messenger, Gabe, of the messenger angel Gabriel, then cast it on the molded calf. This is what my lower self tempted me to, into. Moses said, Go away then, and for the rest of your life you will surely be crying. Do not touch me, then you will certainly have a fate. That you cannot escape. Now look at your God to which you have been devoted. We will burn it up, then scatter it in the sea completely. Then Moses addressed his people, Your only God is God. There is no God worthy of worship except him. He encompasses everything in his knowledge. 99. The Deniers of the Quran This is how we relate to you, O Prophet, some of the stories of the past, and we have certainly granted you a reminder of, from us. Whoever turns away from it will surely be, bear the burden of sin on the day of judgment, suffering and consequences forever. What an evil burden they will carry on judgment day. Beware of the day the trumpet will be blown, and we will gather the wicked on that day blue face from horror and thirst they will whisper among themselves you stay no more than 10 days on the earth we know best what they will say the most reasonable of them will say you stay no more than a day mountains on judgment day 105 and if they ask you, O prophet, about the mountains, then say, My Lord will wipe them out completely, leaving the earth level, ba level and bare, <clears throat> with, neither, with neither depressions nor elevations, elevations to be seen. People on Judgment Day 108, on the day that all will follow, on that day all will follow the caller, for assembly, and none will dare to de deviate. All voices will be hushed before the most compassionate. Only whispers will be heard. On the day, on that day, no intercession will be of any benefit except by those granted permission by the most compassionate, and whose words are agreeable to him. He fully knows what it is ahead of them, and what is behind them. 
but they cannot encompass him in their knowledge. And all the faces will be humbled before the ever living, all sustaining. And those burdened with the wrongdoing will be in loss. But whoever does good and is a believer will have no fear of being wronged or denied their reward. 113, the Quran. And so we have sent it down as an Arabic Quran and vary the warnings in it. So perhaps they will shun evil or it may cause them to be mindful. Exalted is God, the true king. Do not rush to recite a revelation of the Quran, O prophet, before it is probably conveyed to you. And pray, my Lord, increase me in knowledge. It says, The prophet was eager, eager to recite the Quran while it was being revealed to him through the angel Gabriel. So he was told to take his time to learn it by heart once the verses are probably pro properly delivered to him okay 115 satan versus adam and indeed we once made a covenant with adam but he forgot and so we did not find the determination in him and remember when we said to the angels prostrate before adam so they so they all did but not Iblis, who refused arrogantly. So we cautioned, O oh Adam, this is surely an enemy to you and to your wife. Oh. Excuse me. So do not let him drive you both out of paradise, for you, O oh Adam, would then suffer hardship. Here is guaranteed that you will never go hungry or unclothed, nor will you ever suffer from the thirst or the sun's heat, the temptation, 120. But Satan whispered to him, saying, O Adam, shall I show you the tree of immortality and a kingdom that does not fade away? So they both ate from the tree, and then their nakedness was exposed to them, prompting them to cover themselves with leaves from paradise. So Adam disobeyed his Lord, and so lost his way. Then his Lord chose him for his grace, accepted his repentance, and guided him rightly. 123. The Fall God said, Descend both of you from here together with Satan as enemies to each other. Then when guidance comes to you from me, whoever follows my guidance will neither go astray in this life nor suffer in the next. But whoever turns away from my reminder will certainly have a miserable life. Then we will raise them up, raise them up blind on the day of judgment. They, they will cry, my Lord, why have you raised me up blind, although I used to see? God will respond, it is so, just as our revelations came to you and you neglected them. So today you are neglected. This is how we reward whoever transgresses and does not believe in the revelations of their Lord. And the punishment of the hereafter is far more severe and more lasting. 128. Warnings to the Meccan Pagans It is not yet clear to them how many peoples we destroy before them, whose ruins still, they still pass by. Surely, in this are signs for people of sound judgment. Had it not been for a prior decree from your Lord, O Prophet, and the term already set, their instant doom would have been inevitable. Advice to the Prophet 130 So be patient, O Prophet, with what they say, and glorify the praises of your Lord before sunrise and before sunset, and glorify him in the hours of the night and at both ends of the day, so that you may be pleased with the reward. Do not let your eyes crave what we have allowed some of the disbelievers to enjoy, the fleeting splendor of this worldly life which we test them with. But your Lord's provision in the hereafter is far better than and more lasting. Bid your people to pray and be diligent in observing it. We do not ask you to provide. It is we who provide for you, and the ultimate outcome is only for the people of righteousness. 133, warning to the pagans. They demand, if only we could bring us, if only 
he could bring us a sign from his Lord. Have they not already received a confirmation of what is in earlier scriptures? Had we destroyed them from have we destroyed them with the torment before his prophet came, they would have surely argued, Our Lord, if only you had sent us a messenger, we could have followed your revelations before being humiliated and put to shame. Say to them, O prophet, each of us is waiting, so keep waiting. You will soon know who is on the straight path and is rightly guided. For the scriptures, it says, this either refers to the biblical stories confirmed by the Quran or the prophecies of Muhammad in the Bible. Some Muslim scholars cite Deuteronomy 18, 15, 18 and 32, 2, Isaiah 42 and John 14, 16 as an example of description of Prophet Muhammad in the Bible. However, Bible scholars interpret these verses differently. I got to check that out. Because I do got my Bible here too. <clears throat> Chapter 21. The Prophets. Allah. Assalamu alaikum everybody. Chapter 21. The Prophets. Al-Anbiya. I hope I said that correctly. Like the previous chapter, this is another Macon chapter that aims at reassuring the prophet by reminding him of God's grace and support to his prophets, including Abraham, Job, Jonah, Zechariah, and Jesus. The prophet is said to be sent as a mercy to a whole world. Verse 107, warning of the horrors of Judgment Day are dispersed throughout the chapter and are carried over to the next chapter. In the name of God, the most compassionate, most merciful. 1. Indifference to judgment. The time of people's judgment has drawn near, yet they are heedlessly turning away. Whatever new reminder comes to them from their Lord, they only listen to it jokingly, with their hearts totally distracted. Discrediting the prophet, the evildoers would come converse secretly, saying, Is this one not human like yourselves? Would you fall for this witchcraft? even though you can clearly see? The prophet responded, My Lord fully knows every word spoken in the heavens and the earth, for he is all hearing, all knowing. Yet they say to the, This Quran is set of, a com of confused dreams. No, he has fabricated it. No, he must be a poet. So let him bring us a tangible, tangible sign like those prophets before said before not a single society we destroyed before them ever believed after receiving the signs will these pagans then believe human not angelic messengers seven we did not send messengers before you O prophet except mere men inspired by us if you polytheists do not know this already then ask those who have knowledge of the scriptures we did not give those messengers supernatural bodies nor that did not need food, nor were they immortal. Then we fulfilled our promise to them, saving them along with whoever we willed and destroying the transgressors. 10. Reasoning with Meccan pagans. We have surely revealed to you a book in which the there is glory for you. Will you not understand? Imagine how many societies of wrongdoers we have destroyed, raising up raising up other people after them. When the wrongdoers sense the arrival of our torment, they, start, they started to run away from their cities. 13. They were told, do not run away. Return to your luxuries to your, and your homes <coughs> so that you may be questioned about your faith. They cried, woe to us. We have surely been wrongdoers. They kept repeating their cry until we mo we mowed them down leaving them lifeless divine amusement 16 we did not create the heavens and the earth and everything in between for sport had we intended to take some amusement we could have found it in our present <clears throat> if that had been our will in fact, we hurl the truth against falsehood, leaving it crushed. And it quickly vanishes, and woe 
be to you for what you claim. To him belong all the heavens and the earth, and those nearest to him are not too proud to worship him, nor do they tire. They glorify him day and night, never wavering. 21. False gods. Or have they... Or have they taken gods from the earth who can raise the dead? Uh, Kurzil, I'm reading the Theomatic English Translation by Dr. Mustafa. False gods, 21. Or have they taken gods from the earth who can raise up the dead? Had there been other gods besides God in the heavens or the earth, both realms will have surely been corrupted. So glorified is God, Lord of the throne, far above what they claim. He could not be questioned about what he does, but they will all be questioned. Or have they taken other guides beside him? Say, O prophet, show me your proof. Here is the Quran. I remember for those with me, along with earlier scriptures, the reminder of those before me. But most of them do not know the truth, so they turn away. We never sent a messenger before you, O prophet, without revealing to him. There is no God worthy of worship except me, so worship me alone. 26. A pagan claim. And they say, the most compassionate has offspring. Glory be to him. In fact, those angels are only his honored servants who do not speak until he has spoken, only acting in command. He fully knows what is ahead of them and what is behind them. They do not intercede except for whom he approves, and they will tremble in awe of him. Whoever of them were to say, I am a God besides him, they would be rewarded with hell by us. This is how we reward the wrongdoers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Miracles in the universe. 30. Do the disbelievers not realize that the heaven and the earth were once one mass? <laughs> then we split them apart and we created them with, from water, every living thing. Will they not then believe? And we have placed firm mountains upon the earth so it does not shake with them and made it broad pathways so they may find their way. And we have made the sky well protected, a well protected canopy. Still they turn away from its signs. And he is the one who created the day and the night, the sun and the moon, each traveling in an orbit. 34. The Fleeting World. We have not granted immortality to any human before you, O prophet. So if you die, will they live forever? Every soul would taste death, and we test you, O humanity, with good and evil as a trial. Then to us, you will all be returned. Warning to the polytheist. 36. When the disbelievers see you, O prophet, they only make fun of you, saying, It... Is this the one who speaks ill of your gods while they disbelieve the mention of the most compassionate? Humankind is made of haste. I will, show, I will soon show you my signs, so do not ask me to hasten them. They ask the believers, when will this, when will this threat come to pass if what you say is true? If only the disbelievers knew that a time will come when they will not be able to keep the fire off of their faces or their backs, nor will they be helped. In fact, the owl would take them by surprise, leaving them stunned, so that they will not be able to avert it, nor will it be delayed from them. Other messengers had already been ridiculed before you, O prophet. But those who mocked them were overtaken by what they used to ridicule. Questions to the pagans, 42. Ask them, O prophet, who can defend you by day or by night against the most compassionate? Still they turn away from the remembrance of their Lord, or do they not have, or do they have gods other than us that can protect them? 
They cannot even protect themselves, nor will they be aided against us. In fact, we will allowed we have allowed enjoyment for these Meccans and their forefathers for such a long time that they took it for granted. Do they not see that we gradually reduce their land from its borders? It is they who will then prevail. Warning of Torment 45. Say, O prophet, I warn you only by revelation, but the deaf could not hear the call when they are warned. If they touched by if they were touched by even a breath of your Lord's torment, they could cert they would certainly cry, Woe to us, we have really been wrongdoers. forty seven. Divine justice. We will set up the scales of justice on the day of judgment, so no soul will be wronged in the least. And even if a deed is the weight of a mustard seed, we will bring it forth. And sufficient are we as a vigilant reckoner. Divine Justice 47. We will set up the scales of justice on the day of judgment, so no soul will be wronged in the least. And even if a deed is the weight of a mustard seed, we will bring it forth. A sufficient as we as a vigilant reckoner. I think I read that already. 48. The Torah. Indeed, we granted Moses and Aaron the decisive authority, a light, and a reminder to, for the righteous, who are in awe of their Lord without seeing him, and are fearful, fearful of the hour. 50. The Quran. And this Quran is blessed reminder that we have revealed. Will you pagans then deny it? Prophet Abraham. 51. And indeed, we granted Abraham sound judge sound judgment early on, for we knew him well to worth well to be worthy of it. Remember when we questioned his father and his people, what are these statues to which you are so devoted? They replied, We found our forefathers worshiping them. He responded, Indeed, you and your forefathers have been clearly astray. They asked, Have you come to us with the truth, or is it a joke? He replied, In fact, your Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We created both. Who created both? And to that I bear witness. Then he said to himself, By God, I will surely plot against your idols after you have turned your backs and gone away. So he smashed them into pieces except the biggest of them, so they tur might turn my turn to it for answers. His people's reactions. 59. They, pro they protested. Who dared to this? Who dared do this to our gods? It must be an evildoer. Some said, we heard a young man called Abraham speaking ill of them. They demanded, bring him before the eyes of the people so that they may witness his trial. They asked, was it you who did this to our gods, O Abraham? He replied sarcastically, No, this one, the biggest of them, did it. So ask them if they can talk. So they came back to their senses, saying to one another, You yourselves are truly the wrongdoers. They, then they quickly regressed to their original mindset, arguing, You already know that who, those idols cannot talk. He rebuked them. Do you then worship, instead of God, what can neither benefit nor harm you in any way? 67. Shame on you and whatever you worship instead of God. Do you not have any sense? They concluded. Burn him. Wait. Eh. Okay. Do you not have any sense? They concluded. Burn him up to avenge your gods if you must act. 69. Abraham's prevails. We ordered, we ordered, O oh fire, be cool and safe for Abraham. They sought, they had sought to harm him, but we, but we made them the worst losers. Then we delivered him along with Lot to the land we had showered with blessings for all people. And we blessed him with Isaac as a son and Jacob as a grandson and an additional favor, making all of them righteous. 
We also made them leaders, guiding by our command, and inspired them to do good, to do good deeds, establish prayer, and pay alms tax. And they were devoted, devoted to our worship. Seventy four. Prophet Lot, and and to Lot we have given wisdom and knowledge, and delivered him from a society engrossed in shameful practices. They were certainly an evil, rebellious people, and we admitted him into our mercy, for he has truly one of the righteous, for he was truly one of the righteous. Prophet Noah, 76. And remember when Noah had cried out to us earlier, so we responded to him and delivered him and his family from the great distress, and we made him prevail over those who had rejected our signs. They were truly an evil people, and we drowned them all. So we drowned them all. Prophet David and Prophet Solomon, 78. And remember when David and Solomon passed judgment regarding the crops ruined at night by someone's sheep, and we were witness to their judgments, and we guided young Solomon to, Pharaoh's, to a fairer settlement, and granted each of them wisdom and knowledge, we subjected to the mountains as well as the birds to him our praises along with david it is he it is we who did it all we taught him the art of making our making body armor to protect you in battle will you then be grateful and to solomon we subjected the raging winds blowing by his command to the land we showered with blessings it is we who know everything and we subjected some jinn that died for him and performed our duties. It is we who kept them in check. 83. And remember when Job, uh, Prophet Job, and remember when Job cried to his Lord, I have been touched with adversity and you are the most merciful, most and you are the most merciful of the merciful. So we answered his prayer and removed his adversity and gave him back his family, twice as many, as mercy from us and a lesson for the devoted worshipers. 85. More prophets. And remember Ishmael, Enoch, and Zulkifil, Z-U-L-K-I-F-L. They were all steadfast. We admitted them into our mercy for they were truly the righteous. Um, Zul Kifil, what it says for that, it says scholars are in disagreement as to whether Zul Kifil was a prophet or just a righteous man. Those who maintain that he was a prophet identify him with burials, various biblical prophets such as Ezekiel, Isaiah, and Obadiah. Six, uh, 87, Prophet Jonah. And remember when the man of the whale stormed off from his city in a rage, thinking he will not restrain him, thinking we would not restrain him. Then in the veils of darkness, he cried out, there is no God worthy of worship except you. Glory be to you. I have certainly done wrong. So we answered his prayer and rescued him from anguish. And so do we save the true believers prophet Zechariah 89 and remember when Zechariah cried out to his Lord my Lord do not leave me childless though you are the best of successors and we answered his prayer granted to him granted him John and made his wife fertile indeed they used to race and doing good and call upon us with hope and fear totally humbling themselves before us Prophet Jesus and his mother, 91. And remember the one who guarded her chastity. So we breathe into her through our angel Gabriel, making her and her son a sign for all peoples. One way, 92. Our prophets indeed, this religion of yours is only one and I am your Lord. So worship me alone. Yet the people have divided it into sects. S-E-C-T-S. -E so to us, they will all return. So whoever does good as a believer will never be denied the reward for their striving, for we are recording it all. 95, the people of hell. 
It is impossible for a society which we have destroyed to ever rise again until after Gog and Magog have broken loose from their barrier, swarming down from every hill, ushering the true pro promise. Then behold, the disbelievers will stare in horror, crying, O oh, woe to us, we have truly been heedless of this. In fact, we have been wrongdoers. Certainly you disbelievers and whatever you worship instead of God, will be the fuel of hell you are all bound to enter it had those idols been true gods they would not have entered it and they will be there forever in it in it they will groan and will not be able to hear the people of paradise 101 surely those for whom we have destined the finest reward will be kept far away from hell not even hearing the slightest, slightest hissing from it, and they will delight forever in what their souls desire. 103. The supreme, the supreme horror of that day will not, dis, will not disturb them, and the angels will greet them, saying, This is your day, which you have been promised. On that day, we will roll up to the heavens we will roll up the heavens like a scroll of writing just as we produced the first creation so so shall we reproduce it that is a promise binding on us we will truly uphold our promises surely following the heavenly record we discreet in the scriptures my righteous servants shall inherit the land advice for the prophet 106 Surely this Quran is sufficient in, as a reminder for those devoted to worship. We have sent to you, O Prophet, only as a mercy for the whole world. Excuse me. Say what has been revealed to me is this. Your God is only one God. Will you then submit? If they turn away, then say, I have warned you equally. I do not know what, I do not know if, what you are threatened with is near or far. God surely knows what you say openly and whatever you hide. I do not know if this delay is, poss is possibly a test for you and an enjoyment for a while. In the end, the prophet said, My Lord, judge between us in truth, and our Lord is the most compassionate, whose help is sought against what you claim. That is the end of chapter 21. We will start on chapter 22 tomorrow. But I really want to go back and read what um, what chapters in the Bible uh, is mentioned. Or I guess Prophet Muhammad uh, was mentioned, maybe? It says... This either refers to the biblical stories confirmed by the Quran or the prophecies of Muhammad in the Bible. Some Muslim scholars cite Deuteronomy 18, 15, 18, and 32, 2, Isaiah 42, and John 14 as examples of the description of Prophet Muhammad in the Bible. However, Bible scholars interpret these verses differently. So I kind of want to check it before I like stop the live, just in case you guys are interested. Um, it says Deuteronomy 18, 15, 18. So I'm gonna check that one real quick. Um, fifteen to eighteen, eighteen. All right, fifteen. The promise of a prophet. I'm gonna cry. Wow. Okay. 15. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee and thy barren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. According to all thou according to all that thou dost deserve I don't know that word. D E S I R E D S T of the Lord thy God in Horeb in the day of the assembly saying let me not hear again the voice of the lord my god neither let me see this great fire any more that i die not and the lord said unto me they have well spoken that they 
they have well spoken that which they have spoken. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. That was Deuteronomy 18, 15 to 18. Now it's Deuteronomy 32, 33 to... 33.2. More bless Moses' blessings of tribes. Okay, let's see. 33.2. And he said, The Lord came from Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran, and he came with, thousands, with ten thousands of saints, and from his right hand went a fiery law for them. Okay, uh, Isaiah 42. Okay, hold on. If you guys are just tuning in, there's um, verses in the Quran that um, could be possibly mentioning Prophet Muhammad in the Bible. So that's what I'm just looking for right now. Isaiah 42 I I got you I'll put could I'll put it in the in the chat in a in a minute Let me just finish this Sorry it's taking me forever to look these up guys 42 42 42 42 42 42 Where are you at these pages are so thin. All right, right here. 42, it's like a whole chapter. Um, all right, Isaiah 42. The mission of God's servant. Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon you. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not be, shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till we have set judgment on the earth. And he, and the isles shall wait for his law. Truth, thus saith the words are so weird. I'm so sorry. Thus said God, the Lord, he had created the heavens and stretched them out, that he that spread forth the earth and which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it and spirit to them and walk therein. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people for the light of the Gentiles to open to open the blind eyes to bring out the prisoners from the prison and them to sit and them to sit in darkness out of the poison house i am the lord that is my name and my glory will i not give to another neither my praise be to graven images behold the former things are come to pass and the new things do i declare before they spring forth i tell you of them song of praise to the lord sing to them a new song and his praise in the end of the earth okay that was isaiah 42 and it says the last one here it says john 14 16. all right let me see this is the last one it mentions John, John, what are you, John? Eight forty five. Okay, hold on. What did it say? Fourteen sixteen. 
Okay, okay, okay. If you guys are still with me, thank you for your patience. <laughs> All right, 14, 16. The promise of the spirits. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. That's what it says. That it could be translated as Prophet Muhammad being uh, prophesized. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I will have to look up a different translation Bible, but this one has ye there shalt. <laughs> it's kind of complicated for me to read. But for the ones asking, it's the clear Quran. If you want to screenshot it, this is the one that I have. The thematic. You can screenshot it and then flip it. I don't know how to flip the camera. But it's a thematic English translation. Dr. Mustafa Katab. I don't know if I could write it. Um... Let me read what you guys are saying real quick before I go. Thank you. You just thank you just for the reference for the garble of what you know. It's clearly mentioned in the name of peace be upon him. I have also done an amazing piece of my people. In the name of our Nabi. Kurzir. Okay, let me see. Top chat, live chat. Um, I don't know how to put a chat. I would I'm gonna put it on the live, the end of the live. I'm gonna put it on a comment. So if you guys want to know what book I have, um, just in case you want to screenshot it or something. But thank you for tuning in. You guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. I will see you tomorrow. We're going to start on chapter. Chapter. My goodness. I think. Chapter 22 tomorrow, The Pilgrimage. The pilgrimage, um, one page one eighty three. If you have this book, I'll see you tomorrow. Stay blessed. I hope you have a wonderful day, and thank you for tuning in. Toodles. <laughs> Time right now is eight oh nine a.m. All right, guys.